Pulling up in the ass and I'm all the Benz the Beamers On my neck, Jesus, and all my pieces It's a Savita, that's what the f*** in the scene up But my dogs need us, I got to feed us Tonight some gold bottles of brightness So, vocally, his vocal actually sounded pretty good When you solo it, it almost sounds like it could just be great for the mix And not have to do much to it But uh, I was losing it a lot uh dynamically and that was causing me to do a lot of fader rides to get the words to come out also when i did start to compress it a little bit with the 1176 i felt like i was getting more of a, a bounce complimented the bounce of the uh, drums so we started there we started with the 1176 waves using the black version medium attack Really fast release. We pulling up in the ass and the mall, the Benz and Beamers on my neck, Jesus and all my pieces. It's just a feed. Not very aggressive. Uh, at the most, I think there's spots where it hits about 4 dB. So we're just kind of leveling stuff out. We pulling up in the ass and the mall, the Benz and Beamers on my neck, Jesus and all my pieces. It's just we're not crushing the heck out of it. After that, uh, de-esser. We pulling up in the ass and the mall, the Benz and Beamers on my neck, Jesus. Waves de -esser. followed by C6 multiband. So the things I hear with this vocal, the S's, they're not at all painful or out of control, but they distract a little bit when, uh, when I take all the plugins off. That could have been just the way his voice matches the mic uh, or, or preamp or, or something. I don't know if it was EQ'd or, or how it was recorded, but um, containing the high end, but at the same time after it's contained, brightening it back up. And then also the proximity, he's got a little bit of boominess, uh, probably from just being close up on the mic. The C6 by Waves definitely helps out with that. We're pushing down on this proximity area. We're pulling up in the ass and the mall, the Benz, the Beamers, on my neck, Jesus. Just to pull down some of the boominess and then the mid-range. Pulling up in the ass and the mall, the Benz, the Beamers, on my neck, Jesus. And then our kind of S areas. Pulling up in the ass and the mall, the Benz, the Beamers, on my neck, Jesus. Uh, super air uh, above that. So those are getting compressed. And then we follow that with the Pro-Q2, uh, some filtering. We went up to about 140 and then uh, pulling down some almost 500 and then uh, just a couple of frequency dips of things I heard once I got the whole mix together, uh, just tucking some areas, you know, frequencies just to help it sit in the mix the way I wanted it to. He had a fairly strong air on this vocal. I don't know what the mic was, but it had a good amount of air on it. So I did a filter around 18K just to kind of pull out some of the air. I don't want him, the high end of his vocal, competing with the hi-hats. It sounds weird to have an airy vocal kind of on a rap anyways. You know, if it was a pop ballad or, or some kind of other song, it might be appropriate. But on this, um, I think kind of that filtered high end is a, is a cooler way to go. So on top of that, we're actually compressing his S range and the air range as well. We're pulling up in the S and the mall, the Benz, the Beamers, I'm on and that proximity area is still strong, so I hit it again uh, with the Pro MB, even though we were already hitting it with the uh, C4. It's a little higher in frequency than the C4 was. It's a little more in the uh, the mids, but it's kind of containing that. And then we follow that with a Isotope Ozone 7 EQ. We're pulling up in the ass and the mall, the Benz, the Beamers, on my neck, Jesus, and all my pieces. Is this a feed? That's a the scene up my dogs need us so pulled out uh 407 about 1 db pulled out one and a half k at 1 db uh, and that's probably just to match a lot of the other times that we had been working on this area of one and a half k once you pull that out of enough instruments you're going to end up having to pull it out of almost everything else otherwise it's going to sound odd getting a little bit of presence pushed up in the 4k and then this sibilance range again around 8k just pulling that that down just so it's not too bright and then lastly the massey deesser if i ever feel like i need a second deesser i usually go with the massey because it has a mix knob that way i can deesser it but blend the mix back to about 50 percent 
So I'm not totally killing the asses. We pulling up in the ass in the mall, the Benz, the Beamers. On my neck, Jesus, I know I'm a piece of us. It's just a feed us, a f in the scene up. All my dogs need us, I got to feed us tonight and go. So we end up with a nice EQ'd, even vocal that matches the track. Firstly, we're, we send it to this parallel, and then we, we're hitting this with a CLA 76. Uh, the blue version. We're pulling up in the ass in the mall, the Benz, the Beamers. On my neck, Jesus, I know I'm a piece of us. And after that, the Waves L1 limiter. We're pulling up in the ass in the mall, the Benz. The and that's reducing about, I usually try to get that around 2 dB, 3 dB on uh, most of the time. We're pulling up in the ass in the mall. So that blended together, it's kind of like the upward expander that I was doing with the MV2. It just kind of makes sure that all the uh, the lower dynamic lyrics are are kind of pushed up a little bit in the mix. We're pulling up in the ass in the mall, the Benz, the Beamers. On my neck, Jesus, I know I'm a piece of us. It's just a feed, that's a in the scene up. I'm a so if you watch these meters, you can see this one has almost no dynamics, and this one, you can see the dynamics still fairly intact. We're pulling up in the ass in the mall, the Benz, the Beamers. On my neck, Jesus, I know I'm a piece of us. It's just a feed, that's a the scene up. I'm so rather than just continually to add more compression to the lead vocal, we get a vocal that won't go anywhere. We will hear every lyric on that parallel, but then we get some more of the natural dynamics from the uncompressed one. It's not completely uncompressed. We have a little bit of compression with the CLA 76 and then even the C4 is adding compression, but it's, uh, it's not as drastic. So we kind of have the best of both worlds. So here it is in the track. We pulling up in the ass in the mall, the Benz, the Beamers. On my neck, Jesus, I know I'm a piece of us. It's just a feed us, I'm in the scene up. All my dogs need us, I got to feed us. Let's go back to the first verse real quick. And let's talk about what we're doing with Curly Castro. I'm going to give away a big secret of mine. This is one of my favorite special moves is this Waves Vocal Rider. Now, you can go online, you can Google it. Obviously, everybody knows you can find what you want to find. But please note where I have this in my vocal chain. Plug-in order matters a lot. And usually that conversation starts with, well, do you compress before you EQ or after? And the answer, and it's, <laughs> it's an annoying answer, but it is, well, it depends. But wherever things are placed, remember, it's affecting everything that comes after it. Now, a lot of times people will put that at the end of their vocal chain, you know, to do what it's intended, ride the vocals, keep them where they need to be in your mix. But I want to start my vocals that way, because if we take a look at Castro's verse, he starts off a little quieter and he builds and he builds and there's peaks and there's valleys in it because he's a dynamic MC. When you listen to Castro's records, if you see Curly Castro live, it's energy and it's, a, it's an event. It's... It's not a passive listen. You get hyped to it. He's coming at you. And so he starts quietly because the song gave him that. Dove's production gave him that space. And then he builds and he's dynamic. But what I want, I want to feed a consistent level into my vocal chain. I've got some compression there. I've got some saturation stuff there. And I want to give that stuff a consistent level of Castro's vocal. So I start with the vocal rider just to kind of, it's very neutral. You don't hear it working if it's, if you've got it set right. And just to give that consistency for everything else that's coming in. So that's where I'm starting. It's an important note to think about if you can get information for how things were recorded, people document things less now that were not on reel-to-reels with track sheets and that kind of stuff. But I happen to know Steel Tip Dove recorded these vocals in his studio. Dove also doesn't record with compression. It's just the mic, into the pre, into the interface. I know that's just how he decides to work. So let's look at what the vocal writer is doing. Which Dr. Sacred? Let me spill my ritual. Dutch filled with Dr. Fate, but truly you don't hear me though. Only roll a nest of leaf, smoking some Baraka ghosts. Mischief for Nazi floats. Inhale all the indigo. Luggage lost at Freeport. Now we on a bad trip. Up and flip it. So this red line here in the middle, that's the target level that it's looking for. And that's also set up here, the slider at the beginning. So at the beginning of the verse, you see this white fader pushing higher. That's because that's where Castro's a little bit quiet and he's a little bit more subdued. 
at the beginning of the verse, and so that's riding it up a little bit. And then as he gets louder, as the drums start to come in and the beat starts to bloom a little bit more, then it's just kind of keeping it right around this target zone. Later on, when he gets louder, like down here around bar 20 for a second, let's take a look at what happens. Let's go from 19 and get a little runway. Black Norman Rad with the power cosmic in his hand, but cursed ham has got his lot of... Right, so on those louder points, then it's bringing it down a little bit. And it's very neutral. It doesn't sound like squashing. It's just the same way you ride a vocal. It's a neutral level control because the compressor, and I am compressing his vocal, but that's for tone purposes. That's for dynamic shaping, not necessarily for control. So that's how, that's how I'm approaching this here. So that's the first thing in my vocal chain. Prem Rock is getting the same thing. We've got a guest verse from Billy Woods at the end. Woods is also getting a similar thing. Uh, all three of these verses were recorded at Doves. After that, we've got EQ. So rolling off that low, we don't need all that. And then just Couple of things that I just want out of, out, of, out of Castro's verse just to keep that clarity. So again, around that 200, I believe Dove uses some kind of, whether it's like the eyeball uh, microphone isolator or like one of like reflection filters or something like that. All those things have a little bit of a sound and they often kind of build up a little of the low mids. They're great tools and I'm not saying not to use them, but to keep in mind, what is it doing to the vocal? I've mixed, I don't know how many records for Castro, even more for Prem, and these are my friends. I talk to them all the time. I know how they're supposed to sound, so I know, okay, I wanna take a little bit of that bloom out of there, just in like the meat of his voice, but not all the way, because I want him to have authority. So in Split, I'm just taking the tonal part out, but he's rapping hard, especially when he gets going. Black Norm Rad, I want, the fullness of his voice, but I don't want it to bloom too much. So I'm just taking out a bit on the tonal side, up higher at 1K. Castro has a certain voice. It can get nasally there if you let it. So I'm just tucking that a little bit. Nothing too crazy. And then we're going back out of the box because you know I gotta saturate. You know I gotta drive it a little bit. I'm using over here in my rack on my desk, I've got these color palettes from DIY recording equipment. And they're just saturation units. You can change out different, they've got these little chips, these colors you can put into the processor and it just changes the kind of saturation uh, that you've got on there. So I've got Castro rolling, uh, running through. This is a Cinemag Transformer. He's in channel four over here. So it's a Cinemag Transformer and just a little bit, there is a detail that it seems to impart for me. Let's A, B that and C. Which Dr. Sacred, let me spill my ritual. Dutch filled with Dr. Fate, but truly you don't hear me though. Only roll a nest of leaf, smoking some Baraka ghost. Mischief for Nazi floats, inhale all the indigo. Luggage lost that free port, now we... So it's not a matter of level. The level is staying the same. I don't necessarily want to always make him, I'm not trying to make him louder. There is a sound there. There's a little bit of a forwardness. There's a little bit of detail that that transformer seems to impart. I mean, that's why the Cinemag is such a popular transformer. You've seen a lot of gear because it's got that forwardness has got that detail to it. And I just want that for Castro. Again, just like Prem Rock, where we're talking about the depth of his lyrics, you can listen to a Castro verse five times and catch a different reference, a different thought, a different concept. You know, he's got a lot of various pop culture references, you know, the Black Norm Rad, that's Silver Surfer, that's comic books. A lot of Game of Thrones stuff might be in there. NBA references all day, both him and Prem. You know, there's all these things that you gotta catch and catch a couple times to get and be like, oh wow, okay, all right. You mentioned Blue Edwards, okay, that's an old, he used to play for the, he used to play for the Sixers. Well, Prem is from, uh, Prem and Prem is born in Philly, Castle's from Philly. All these different threads they connect from their life and the references in their music you can't miss the references, you can't miss the threads, then you're missing shrapnel, you're missing the song, you're missing the artists who are making the art. So I wanna make sure that these vocals are right up front, very clear, and that you get every word. So when you rewind three times to dissect, you got a chance to understand. I'm trying to give you all a chance to keep up because these are masterful MCs. So we gotta make sure that the lyrics are very clear. Again, the vocal is the most important thing in the record, no matter how much these drums bang. So, 
we're giving a little bit more up top because we're compressing a bit here, you know, it looks like a lot of compression, but keep an eye on the parallel here. We're doing parallel compression about almost 50-50. As much compression as I use, as many compressors that I use, I'm not trying to make it, give it that super compressed sound. That is very great for a lot of people and how a lot of people mix. That's just not the way I mix, and that's fine. That's what makes my records mine and y'all's y'all's. But for me, I'm not compressing super heavily because I'm also saturating, and that gives dynamic control. I've got the vocal right on there, so I don't have to go super, super crazy with the compression. It's more about the tone, right? So got a little bit of compression on here. You know we're driving a little bit over on the side. And then we've got a little bit of de -esser. We've added some top end, we've added some detail with the various, with the various saturation. And so I want to make sure that we're not adding sibilance as well. You know, that's not our end goal. So we've got our little uh, Lindell 902 Deester that's based off the old school, the DBX. And you know I'm an old school DBX guy. Which Dr. Sacred, let me spill my ritual. Dutch filled with Dr. Fate, but truly you don't hear me though. Only roll a nest of leaf, smoking some Baraka ghost. So, I mean, it's DSing. We know what that does, just to, just to take that edge off. You know, I want it aggressive, but I don't want you to have to take your headphones off and throw them because that thing's got a little too spicy. My all vocal bus. Because from here on out, after I've kind of organized, edited, and got a nice feel for things, I want to be mixing through my all vocal bus for the rest of the time. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make active these plugins one by one. I know you don't know me, but it's to be missed alone. So for me, I love the Pro DS because I can choose, you know, how much the threshold pushes it down at what point I want it to in the frequency range that I want it to. So only kind of when the S's go into what it'll look like over here is like the red is when I want it to push down and I'll, I'll push it down like negative four. I feel like the Pro DS, especially on my all vocal bus, is what helps me make my S's feel just so smooth, but still just have a really crisp high end. I know you don't know me. I'm tired of being missed a lonely. Heart keeps trying to control me. Now I'm drowning in the waters of my lonely. And I'll use like a crazy big like frequency range for this because I'm only hitting it once it crosses that crazy threshold. And you'll see, I'll, I'll come back to this and I'll, I'll change it over time. I know you don't know me. I'm tired of being missed alone. That's enough, take your time, yeah Mix it up, take it off, are you mine? Just in love, is it love? Fucking right
So a lot of my sauce really comes from using the SSL GEQ again on my all vocal bus. I find a couple kind of like annoying frequencies and I'll use larger cues here as well. And it just, <laughs> that's how I describe it. It just smooths out the vocals for me so well. And I'm not afraid to have big cues or what my cuts are gonna be, really. I just kind of go in and do what feels right here. I'm making sure here with my gain staging and stuff that I'm not losing, you know, too much by by doing these things and and making sure I still have the right amount pushing through what's coming next. Then we go here to my best friend, Soothe. After I've smoothed it out, I soothe it out. I'm sorry that that was a bad joke. Think we got a vibe, baby, will it hold strong? Every time you slide, you feel like where I belong. Making love, making love in the night. That's enough, that's enough, take your time, yeah. Mix it up, take it off, for you mine? And here I come back with another L1. We're gonna go crazy. Think we got a vibe, baby. Will it hold strong? Every time you slide, you feel like where I belong. Making love, making love in the night. That's enough, that's enough. Take your time, yeah. Mix it up, take it off. Are you mine? Just in love, is it love? Fucking right. Let's try and get into this verse a little bit. Now, I know product likes a more stylized, heavily compressed vocal, and I kind of want to experiment with that and see how far we can take it. You see, I'm married to the game, a starter, I'm on the field. Young and became a father, a robber to pay the bills. North Carolina, a minor, I had the krills. Chopper by my head, I was sleeping on the Oralex, bopping from the feds. We ain't even know the story yet. Shorty caught a body over Yayo, but it's more than that. That she murdered was a homie that extorted that. Not only did she hit the... Okay, so this is going to need a lot of compression. I'm just going to use... Um plugins that I know you guys have and really go extreme just to show you what we can get away with here and, and see how it's stacking up and how it's sounding. And we're going to increase the attack uh, maybe down to like three milliseconds. Um, the release will probably speed up a tiny bit. The threshold is extremely low so that's going to start catching it really early on so we're going to have to make up a lot of gain most likely. Let's see how this sounds. You see, I'm married to the game, a starter, I'm on Look at the that. field. 12 dB. Young and became a father, a robber to pay the bills. North Carolina, a minor, I had the krills. So I'm going to leave that threshold pretty low. You see, I'm married to the game, a starter, I'm on the field. Young and became a father, a robber to pay the bills. North Carolina, a minor, I had the krills. Chopper by my head, I was sleeping on the Oralex. Bopping from the feds, we ain't even know the so you can hear it's pretty bass heavy and we want vocals to cut through. Um, we don't want them to be piercing, but we want them to have a lot of presence. 
I think we could add um, an RL exciter to make it brighter. Um, but I wanna try a more stylized EQ approach first. Um, and then we can always add a, an exciter later. Now I'm gonna roll off everything kind of below 40. We're not gonna need that in the vocal. And I'm, I'm gonna try some really heavy carving um, and, and reshaping of the vocal. Let's see if we can't get something more stylized, more unique. You see, I'm married to the game, a starter, I'm on the field. Young and became a father, a robber to pay the bills. North Carolina, a minor, I had the krills. Chopper by my head, I was sleeping on the Oralex. Bopping from the feds, we ain't even know the story yet. Shorty caught a body over Yayo, but it's more than that. That she murdered was a homie that extorted that. Not only did she hit the wrong fool on some bad luck. Dumb bitch shot the nigga dipping in my man's truck. Crew was ready, we stepped hard and we dodged there. Super heavy with fresh product and hardware. Only made it out, no doubt, homie was God there. Ain't a f movie, my life a script to be written down. They'll never comprehend all the risk it took to be lit now. Okay, so you're, that's pretty darn stylized, right? You see, I'm married to the game, a starter, I'm on the field. Young and became a father, a robber to pay the bills. North Carolina, a minor, I had the krills. So we're heavily, what is this? I got 13 dB taken out here, 6, 12 dB. That's extreme. So now let's, let's bring it back, um, bring the level back up with some compression. You see, I'm married to the game, a starter, I'm on the field. Young and became a father, a robber to pay the bills. North Carolina, a minor, I had the krills. Chopper by my head, I was sleeping on the Oralex. Bopping from the feds, we ain't even know the story yet. Shorty caught a body over Yayo, but it's more than that. That she murdered was a homie that extorted that. Not only did she hit the wrong fool on some bad luck. Dumb bitch shot the nigga dipping in my man's truck. Crew was ready, we stepped hard and we dodged there. Super heavy with fresh product and hardware. Only made it out, no doubt, homie was God there. So that's, that's really stylized. Now, to control the top end, uh, I want to show you guys something that's a pretty cool trick to do. Um, you can do this with a C4 or the C6. I'm going to go ahead and pull up the C4. And the, the frequencies I'm trying to control is... Um, those upper harsh frequencies. So again, that kind of one to three K and then everything above there, we're not gonna be using these lower guys. So I'm gonna bypass those. We're just gonna be compressing the, the high mids and the highs. So let's see how this is sounding. You see, I'm married to the game, a starter, I'm on the field. Young and became a father, a robber to pay the bills. North Carolina, a minor, I had the krills. Chopper by my head, I was sleeping on the Oralex. Bopping from the feds, we ain't even know the story yet. Shorty caught a body over Yayo, but it's more than that. That she murdered was a homie that extorted that. Not only did she hit the wrong fool on some bad luck. Dumb bitch shot the nigga dipping in my man's truck. Crew was ready, we stepped hard and we dodged there. Super heavy with fresh product and hardware. Only made it out, no doubt, homie was God there. Ain't a f movie, my life a script to be written down. They'll never comprehend all the risk it took to be lit now. Cool, so we got auto pan, uh, mono stereo. You could do this with just automation, I guess. I'm gonna link it to the tempo. I'm just gonna do a very typical standard delay. Probably start with quarter notes, see how that sounds, a little feedback. And just to give it again more flavor, I'm gonna reverse the feedback. Don't forget to put this in its own space because we definitely want the delays in its own space again. You can just use simple band passes just to create some kind of space for it. And I'm just roughing it in and I'll, I'll detail it once I get there. You see, I'm married to the game, a starter, I'm on the field. Young and became a father, a robber to pay the bills. North Carolina, a minor, I had the krills. Chopper by my head, I was sleeping on the Oralex. Bopping from the feds, we ain't even know the story yet. Shorty caught a body over Yayo, but it's more than that. That she murdered was a homie that extorted that. Not only did she hit the wrong fool on some bad luck, dumb bitch 
shot the nigga dipping in my man's truck. Crew was ready, we stepped hard and we dodged there. Super heavy with fresh product and hardware. Only made it out, no doubt, homie was God there. Ain't a f movie, my life a script to be written down. They'll never comprehend all the risk it took to be lit now. I work every single day. Youngin' became a father, a robber to pay the bills I'm North Carolina, a minor, I had the krills Chopper by my head, I was sleeping on the Oralex Bopping from the feds, we ain't even know the story yet Shorty caught a body over Yayo, but it's more than that That she murdered was a homie that extorted that Not only did she hit the wrong fool on some bad luck Dumb bitch, shot the nigga Shot the nigga, shot the nigga the delay is cool. The, we need to work on that vocal though a bit more because it's a little too thin, a little too crunchy, maybe a little over stylized. So let's let's kind of reapproach it uh, and start pulling it back because this is what's going to sell the record. Um, we really want it to shine. So let's kind of hear where it's sitting at again. Coffee by the leader. I'm just trying to stay awake. My bitch and I mistreat her. Because all I'm hearing is my speaker. to pay the bills I'm North Carolina a minor I had the krills chopper by my head I was sleeping on the Oralex bopping from the feds we ain't even know the story yet shorty caught a body over Yayo but it's more than that that she murdered was a homie that extorted that not only did she hit the wrong fool on some bad luck dumb bitch shot the nigga dipping in my man's truck crew was ready we stepped hard and we dodged there super heavy with fresh product and hardware only made it out no doubt homie was god there ain't a f movie my life a script to be written down they'll never comprehend all the risk it took to be lit now i work every single so right now I'm just kind of listening to the mix, trying to dial it in, try to dial the effects in, um, and hear what I'm missing from the vocal to kind of take it over the top. Coffee by the leader, I'm just trying to stay awake. My bitch and I mistreat her. Cause all I'm hearing is my speaker. Don't try to hit me with the shame. You know I'm married to the game. Carolina, a minor, I had the krills Chopper by my head, I was sleeping on the Oralex Bopping from the feds, we ain't even know the story yet Shorty caught a body over Yayo, but it's more than that That she murdered was a homie that extorted that Not only did she hit the wrong fool on some bad luck Dumb bitch shot the nigga dipping in my man's truck Crew was ready, we stepped hard and we dodged there Super heavy with fresh product and hardware Only made it out, no doubt homie was God there Ain't a f movie, my life a script to be written down They'll never comprehend all the risk it took to be lit now I work every single f day, that's the difference Fresh 9-11, the cartel still got it through Had it coming, stuffed the computers We had a decent track to 25 pounds of our suit I, we were so Again, it's, it's pretty roughed in But again, I'm trying to get the feeling and the effects And all that stuff before we kind of dial it in For the final mix here all right, now let's turn our attention to the rap vocal. And I wanna highlight a specific cool feature that I do with a vocoder to add some life to the overall vocals in the song. So with the rap vocal, it's going to be a lot more intimate or in the sense that it's gonna be a more drier, more aggressive, more bite. So I am not, as you can see here in the rap vocal bus, I'm not uh, drenching it with as much reverb as I am, let's say the singing lead vocal. And that's something cool to do where if you have something where you have a singing verse and a rap verse, there is that contrast, even with the amount of dimension of uh, e uh, reverb and delay that you're adding 
to one type of vocal than to the other. So let's listen to the rap vocal. With you for the last time, didn't know that you'd be calling me the bad guy. I'm just a ghost when I'm feeling like this, and it's hard to get it past you. Jumping and walking on glass, though. Now I'm in the trash, though. Fell to the bottom because you dropped me from the top. We were so in sync. I thought we could make it pop. pop, 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 pop. So there's a couple of things here. Processing is very much the same as the, uh, the lead. We have some tape here to round off the, the, the high and give a little boost on the bottom. And then a uh, little different here though, I'm just giving, um, so let me just compare this to the lead vocal EQ here. So yeah, it's just, uh, as you can see, there there isn't that much on the, the presence here with the, the rap. I actually want more highs. I want more presence. I'm boosting that as opposed to the, the, the lead vocal or the, the singing vocal. And then here with that, after we've done that, I've got, some compression. So it's a similar kind of chain. I'm, I'm doing a little bit of compression here. Now, again, the rap vocal is much more consistent in delivery than anything that's going to be sung. So with that consistency, I want to make sure I'm not squashing it by adding too much compression. With you for the last time, didn't know that you'd be calling me the bad guy. I'm just a ghost when I'm feeling like this. So although the knob here on the LA-2A is at 50, meaning I'm, I'm giving more peak reduction, I'm, you know, adding more compression, the reality is uh, you, you see the needle kind of hit about negative two or three. Um, and that's what you're really gauging it by. Uh, I'm not, the lead vocal that was sung was doing about three to five, negative three to five. This one's just about negative two to three. With you for the last time, didn't know that you'd be calling me the bad guy. I'm just a ghost when I'm feeling like this. And, it's and that's due to this particular version of this plugin that has this emphasis knob here. And so I'm, I'm not emphasizing as, as much as I would uh, the compression as I did with the lead vocal here. What you for the last time. And then we've got the de-esser. Now this is just a great de-esser once again to use on rap vocals because it adds that grit and as well as take away the S's and the sibilants. And then here's that EQ that I'm using now. Here's something a little different in the Pro Q3 I haven't shown you yet, but that I like using is the dynamic EQ. And this is basically uh, not with a normal EQ, you're just scooping away or boosting. You're you're either adding um, boost or you're attenuating. You're taking away uh, the frequency. So here, I'm not really just scooping all the way. This is going to inter it's going to interact with the vocal. So it's going to compress um, certain frequencies when there's too much of that frequency present. But you for the last time didn't know that you'd be calling me the bad. This is boxy like low mid that I don't want to carve out of the whole vocal but I want to tame a little bit of that so I'm using the dynamic I'm compressing just that frequency band and I'm doing the same thing for this two uh for some high mid here what you for the I'm just what you for and then I'm boosting up some of the highs here and again this is more in context with the rest of the mix but what's really interesting is the lack of reverb. So I want this to be dry. I have some Wait, on there. I have some reverb on there, but not a lot. And reverb on rap vocals tend to really uh, send the vocal back. And I tend not to put a lot of reverb on my rap vocals. This is a little different because we're still trying to match uh, a little bit of the mood, the consistency between the, the lead vocal that was sung in the first verse and this rap. But uh, I don't like drenching my rap vocals with reverb. I, I'd rather use delay to create the dimension than have a reverb on there. Let me put it with the music. For the last time, didn't know that you'd be calling me the bad guy. I'm just a ghost when I'm feeling like this, and it's hard to get it past you. Listen to it with a bunch of reverb on there. For the last time, didn't know that you'd be calling me the bad guy. I'm just a ghost when I'm feeling like this, and it's hard to get it past you. When there's reverb on it, almost the reverb takes center stage rather than what the vocal or the rap verse is doing. So let me just scale that back. As you can see here, automating um, some of the doubler. So I definitely like doubler on rap vocals. Um, this is going to widen up and, and add some juice to the, to the rap vocal. I'm also automating, similar to what we did with the first verse, automating some of these sections here so certain words get uh, echoed and delayed. Pop. You know you broke my heart, then you turn it to we can make it pop. You know you broke my heart, then you turn And so we've got that going on, and then we just have some of that slapback delay that we're running on the return D. 
we can make it pop You know you broke my heart, then you turn it to an icebox Drown when the light stops, used to hit the right spot And so let me just disable all the sounds And then you hear the vocal, just the regular without the delays. We can make it pop. You know you broke my heart. Then you turn into an ice box. Drown when the light stops. Used to hit the right spot. Just feels naked. So I need to go ahead and dress them up, enable all the scents. Now put them back in there. From the top, we were so in sync. I thought we can make it pop. You know you broke my heart. Then you turn into an ice box. Drown when the light stops. Used to hit the right spot. So then that's, uh, that really puts the rap vocal in a good place there. 